Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Mr. Hermes and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be talking about updates that are coming to War Tycoon in the not so distant future. So without further ado, let's get into it. So as you may or may not know, there is a roadmap in the War Tycoon Discord server. And on that roadmap, you can see potential updates that are coming in the future. And today I'm just going to be explaining all the updates and my thoughts on them so the first update we are going to be receiving is the upgradable vehicles now what i think they mean by that is vehicles that you can upgrade to improve the armor on it and the speed and i'd say this update's pretty meh it doesn't really do much but it kind of adds a little bit more diversity in the vehicles so it's like a four out of ten next up we got ai enemies now this would be awesome i can't wait to get an update like this ai enemies would be super cool like something guarding the oil rigs like maybe some mercenaries guarding the oil rigs so it'd make it harder to steal the oil i think that'd be really cool i'm gonna give that a seven out of ten and next up we got the bounty system a bounty system would be awesome uh, it would make the game so much more fun to go kill people because right now you just kind of go kill people to grief them now you can actually go kill people and get rewards for it i'm gonna give that a six out of ten next up we got the missile strike system revamp now i'm not really too sure what this update entails because i think the missile strike system isn't really that bad right now I don't really know what they could add to it. Maybe they can make some more details, like potentially like turning a key to activate the missile system or something like that. So I can't really rate this because I'm not really sure what's going to happen with it. Next up, we got the minimap revamp. Now, I think the minimap revamp would be really nice. I think we are overdue for a minimap revamp. Something like if you press the M key on your keyboard, it would potentially open up an entire minimap on your screen. I think that'd be something really cool. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Next up, we got the alarm system in the bunker. Now, this is also a pretty boring thing to add. I don't really know why they would add this. I guess because some people like to camp out in the bunkers, but still, it's kind of just like a filler update just to update the game. Due to the fact it's kind of useless, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. Next up, we got grenade launchers, and I think this would be a cool addition. I don't think they'd be that good, but I think it would still be really cool to have grenade launchers. So I'm going to give that a 6 out of 10. Next up, we got the remote controlled C4. Now, I talked about this in my other video about the potential update in War Tycoon because I didn't actually know that this was already planned on coming into the game. And I think having C4 added to the game would be one of the best updates they could add because I think it would add so much content with like potentially strapping C4 to your car and then going jumping out of it and blowing up some random person. I think it would be a good update. Next up, we got the flamethrowers. Now, I don't think the flamethrowers would be useful at all. I think they'd be like the most useless weapon because they're so close range and flamethrowers do slow damage usually. So if you had a shotgun, you could just kill anybody with a flamethrower unless they made it so like cars and stuff could burn down or they were like really, really high damage flamethrowers. That would be useful. But if it's just like a normal flamethrower, I'm going to have to give it like a two. Next up, we got limited gun skin trading. So... I don't know how I really feel about this. I think it would be pretty cool to have, but at the same time, I feel like people would start selling their rare skins for like money and stuff. And I don't think that's a great idea considering there's a lot of kids and stuff that play this game. So I don't really know. I'm kind of indecisive on this one. Next up, we got new tanks and new helicopters. And I don't think this is really a bad update at all. You can't really go wrong with this. Adding new tanks and new helicopters will not hurt the game at all. And I think it's just a smart move to add more content. Next up, we got helicopter skins, and I don't really know why they haven't added this before. Maybe they're having difficulty like putting the texture of the skins on helicopters, but I'm not really sure because they have these on tanks, they have them on the cars, and the tanks came out before helicopters, mind you, and they already have the skins. So I'm, I'm really confused why helicopters don't have skins yet. When this update comes out, I don't think it's gonna be like game changing, but it'll definitely add some new content. So I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. Next up, we got revamping gun animations. Now, you can't really go wrong with revamping gun animations. If you make them updated and you smooth them out and stuff, adding some new gun animations will definitely not hurt. I'm gonna give that a seven out of 10. So yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe as I'm trying to hit 2000 subscribers by the end of the year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.